欢迎我们远方的客人来到我们西丁古勒做客。Hello. Okay, so there's a taxi driver who picked me. Seven. Why? 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 Such a cute airport. Take a look, guys. Look at the writings here. They are written in Chinese and also the Mongolian language. I just arrived at Inner Mongolia, Shilingolo to be specific, or Shilinghot to be specific. Let's go into the grasslands. Let's go into the villages, the cities of Shilinghot. Let's go. Guys, this place is amazing. Immediately I got here. This is what you look up with me. Okay, so there's a taxi driver who picked me. Where? Want to get a picture with me? Okay. Hmm. Ah, this is on. This is no, no, no. This is video footage. Oh, oh, oh. Bye, bye. Okay, okay. Okay. Good day, and welcome to Inner Mongolia. This was the first place to obtain the autonomous status in China. The name Inner Mongolia itself stirs up visions of nomadic herders, restless horse riders, and of course, the Emperor Chinggis Khan. When you come to Inner Mongolia, you find lots of the Han people, the Mongols, and also the Hui people, and a few Korean and some other ethnic groups because we have a lot of the Han people here in Inner Mongolia there is a lot of people who speak Chinese in this place but there are also the Mongols who are the second majority in Inner Mongolia when people come to Inner Mongolia they mostly visit Hohot which is the capital of Inner Mongolia but I chose to go to where the fighters of Inner Mongolia are shilling hoods. Seven. So, that is how it is here. Seven. Guys, this is the raw form of Inner Mongolia. It's clean, 
uh, I'm yet to enter the rural, very rural areas to show you how it is there. So in such a traditional place, I was thinking that it's all traditional, it's all village-like, it's all rural-like, but I see a convenient store here. Let's go inside, let's, let, let me go show you what is in there. This is, yeah, the name of the place is Convenient Store, so let's go inside. Sebeno. Sebeno. Uh, I want to ask you, is there a place in Fujin? Yes. 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 但是很多人昨天来这，就是很多人啊、呃，大概九点下下班。嗯。为为什么那么早啊？不知道呀。不知道。嗯。啊，好的，感谢你哦啊。嗯，没事。那个蒙古，你是蒙古人吗？那蒙古的呃，蒙古语，谢谢怎么怎么说的？白日拉。白什么？白日拉。白日拉。嗯。白日拉。嗯。好，拜拜。Huh. Okay, guys. So I just learned a Mongolian language, Baila, Baila. So don't forget that. Make sure you, you get that with you if you come to Inner Mongolia. Sebeno is greetings. Baila is thank you. Let's keep going, guys. Let's go get some Mongolian breakfast. Let's go. Sebeno. How are you? How are you? How are you? I don't know your name. I'm talking about your name. Your name is Anna. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was great. This kid just walked to me and came to speak to me. Say bye now. So in the place where I am right now, they have many of these, many of these statues showing, you know, when Chinese talk about new, how new, how new be, new be, it means it shows the awesomeness, the strongness of whatever you're doing. You get what I'm saying? So, so far, I see the cost of living is really low. You could do a lot of things with your small money. Like last night, I slept in a hotel that cost me about 18 RMB. Oh, sorry, not 190 RMB. Alright, guys, we are going to try some. It's a Mongolian food, and I want to introduce you to the man himself, Hangai. Yo, so this man is showing me around in Mongolia. He is been of really great help. Um, got me through the hotel that I'm, I'm sleeping right now, and I have his his, his guys here, mm -hmm. his wife also here, and we we surely going to have a great time in in Mongolia. All right, guys. So this is a lot of meat. This is called um, what is this yang rou? Yes, yes, and then yes. there's yeah, rice. Yeah. This rice and yeah. some like sunit yeah. lamb. Mm -hmm. This lamb, so the lamb from this town, from this region, is like the most famous. Okay. It's particularly tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, let's let's see how it tastes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it just tastes good. I like the yarrow. Oh. It's not very far from the hotel, right? Mm -mm. I literally walked to this place. 
This this place is this town is small. You can walk anywhere. Yeah. Well, and even the taxis are all same price, five RMB. Oh man. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm hungry as shit. I'm just killing it. Mm -hmm. When you be out there in that sun all the time, you're ready to eat, bro. Oh, yeah. Do you have a hat or anything like that? Half what? Yeah. Do you have a hat or anything like that? No. Oh. It's yeah. get pretty hot, yeah. Because oh, it, get, it gets hot. Yeah, it's not. It's I could buy one. Actually. Because there's no shade. Oh. So when you're out there, oh. When you're out there, in the Adam, there's like nowhere to hide. So the sun's just killing you. You'll see. You'll you'll learn your lesson tomorrow. If you, if you like the heat, like me, you won't feel it at first. But once it starts becoming afternoon, mm -hmm. then it starts to it starts to gain. Because mm -hmm. you're sitting out there the whole day. Yeah. Hey. You know. <laughs> You said you were from uh, Ghana, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ghana, I mean, South Carolina, Taiwan, they're all very uh, humid places. Yeah. yeah. So even though it's hot, um, the UV rays from the sun, a lot of it gets blocked by the humidity in the air. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But here, there's, there's very little moisture. I mean, even here, even today, you can tell, very little moisture, mm -hmm. very dry. Very so dry, yeah. You won't get us, you won't get us sweaty. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, hours later, under mm -hmm. the sun for a long time, you'll feel it. Different. All right, guys. So you saw the food, right? <laughs> but now, take a look at their food. They are done. They are almost getting through their food. And me, I still have this here. When I saw the meat at first, I was like, "Oh, that's a lot of meat." Because in the city, we we don't get this amount of meats on our meals. So I was really determined to finish up. But after just a few minutes. Seems I can't go anymore. <laughs> Guys, that's it, this is Mongolian food. And I learned that Mongolians um, take more meat, like how um, I did a video on in Lanjo Lamy and you saw the amount of meat they gave me, right? But here, bro, it's different. I, different. I, I can't finish this. It's a lot of meat. And I learned that the Mongolians do they, they seldom buy meats, you know. They are headsmen. They have their own animal farms and they make their own meats, you know. So this is 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 their life. Meats, they, they eat meat here, you get me. So guys, that's it. Um, see you at the next place. Alright guys, so we stopped by a supermarket to come get some fruits, you know. It's not all traditional here. They have some supermarkets here as well. I've got my guys just on my back. Uh, sure. Okay, so this is Vinny. Uh, he came from the States just to come experience Mongolian culture or how things are here in Mongolia. Yeah, yeah especially the wrestling. <laughs> the wrestling, yeah. So that's it, man. Wow, I'm loving the sunset here. I used, to, I used to live here. Oh, really? Now I live. Hey, oh. little one. <laughs> What's up, little one? Holy crap. Whose dog is this? This is Rubber. <laughs>